I was blood trailing that deer and uh, got so thick that I couldn't stay on the trail anymore. Now, when you're blood trailing an animal, you don't want to just walk in the same path it is. You don't want to step on the blood. You don't want to disturb the trail or the prints. Any sign, you want to leave it undisturbed in case you get lost and lose the animal. You can backtrack and find the right direction again. So when I got into the real thick stuff like this, I couldn't track the deer anymore. I couldn't follow it in a straight line. So I tried to circumvent some of this thick stuff. So my plan was to get out of this thick stuff and then parallel the, the brush and find where the deer came out. And while I was looking for blood, my, my doe is behind me here. So this is a 50 pound longbow, uh, wooden shafts, glue on ace broadheads. So all traditional equipment, but uh, I'm very, very thankful to get this deer.